Maybe he knew. <laughs> and uh, James Molino was actually out here for another reason as well, and that was to, to check out your toileting facilities um, uh, just down the hallway there. And we know that um, they're a bit old, it's fair to say. I don't, personally, I don't think they're fit for task. I don't think it's um, best practice to have the toilets that way with curtains um, and whatnot. And do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I couldn't even hear that. Do you agree? Yes. So what? We'll just skip back for a second to the car park where James and I were talking. <laughs> and I said to James, "Can we do something about this too? Can we? Can we do something about this too?" And he said, "Yeah, let's get it done." So we've been working um, uh, for the past month. And today we're here to announce that we're going to rebuild your toilets at the school. So, congratulations everyone on, on your hard, hard work. Um, you deserve it. You've run a... You've run a they're going to have doors! <laughs> they're going to have toilets in them, they're going to have doors, hoists, so we're going to make them uh, the very best you can have uh, because you guys deserve it. You've run a fantastic campaign of awareness um, and it, like I said, it's very, very hard to sit here and hear those stories because uh, I must admit, when I did a couple of days CRT work here when I was working um, at Frankston SDS, um, you know, this was going on then and 10 years later I thought this had been solved. Now I thought these issues had been solved and, and they hadn't. So Sonia and I put on the priority list and here we are today. So school toilets and we're hoping that we'll get sign off on a changing places toilet at the Frankston train station. So there'll be one there and one at Bayside thanks to Kate Jeffries and Gabe. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> so well done guys, give yourself a round of applause. Exactly, man. Exactly. 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 Exact